Hello, guys. I'll talk about the shards or character coins in this video. どうも、ヘンリーです。今回は輝きの恩恵の話をしていきたいなと思うんですけど、僕の視聴者の中で日本より海外の方が圧倒的に多いので、英語で喋らせていただきます。とはいえ、字幕はつけます。始める前にもう一つ言わせていただきたいんですけど、新規ユーザー、特に新規の課金者をもっと優しくしてほしかったですね。Hola, este video tiene subtítulos en español. Hola, este video de leyendas en portugués. Me hace o, y pone do hangel jamagis ni da. Siempre viet, este video s u r o s que me subtitra mi. Bonjour, este video ha de subtitra en francés. Taja ho, este yo jongwen z m o Hello, dices video ha de doicho m u n t e t i t e l All right, with the new update, the shards or character coins can drop in expert quests. I will skip the expert quest to confirm the drop rate. I'll watch the ads first. There are 32 quests, and I actually cleared the two new expert quests of chapter 2.6 without getting any coin. Okay, let's see how many coins I got. Alright, it seems that I got 5 coins from 34 quests. But of course, they are powerful characters and useless characters. Value of different coins are different. But I'll make a detailed analysis later. Next, I will show how many coins I got from previous quests spent. I started Japanese version last December. I paid around $400 in total. And here are how many I got. I'm sure I got less than free to play players who started last February. In addition, now it's clear that if you use 4 star tickets after this update, you get 20 coins for every 4 star ticket, but you get 0 coins for 4 star tickets spent before this update. It seems that 20 coins are very precious. If you play global version, consider saving all 4 star tickets. However, We still don't know how many coins you need to max out a character. We will know next Monday. Okay, see you next time. <laughs> 